welcome back as you see before we installed our plugins and now that our plugins are installed and activated now it's time for us to customize our our wordpress site so that it can memorize those customizations to every individual page so how to get to your customized page is on your on here you come on appearance customize when you click on customize this will open you a little panel with, an, with a bit of a preview of your current site. Because we haven't got a page yet, so this will set up a normal blog page as a home page. We won't worry about that for now. We'll just set up the main things. So we have to go on general settings, and in general settings, we will have the logos. So this one is a sticky bar, and this one is a main logo. Because we are going to have a hero image, so we will have a transparent, a white logo and a bit of dark logo, um, um, a bit of dark logo. So in here, I already have the, I already have created the logos. So what I will advise is use the logo that I've got, or just use your own logos or create yours, whatever way it's good for you. So if you can see here, on you will have this on the on your course files. That there is a dark logo, there's a white logo, and there's a favicon logo. So I'm just gonna copy all of it and drag and drop it in so that we have it on our on our media. So WordPress Media basically stores all our all our graphics, images, and all our files in here. So I'll se select the white one because we want the white one, and then here I will select the dark one. Okay, so now that's done, we're happy with everything. We just leave everything the way it is and we click publish. Now that we have clicked publish, we'll go back one step and then we go to site identity. Inside identity, we will have the title and we will have the tagline. Tagline basically is, you know, the, the next word after the next word after the title, obviously. So you can write whatever you want here as a tagline. I just put this is um, a squadron side, but you can change it to whatever you want. And then here you can decide. I'm gonna remove it from it so that I can show you how it's done. You can decide a favicon. A favicon is basically an icon that represents a site. So an example here, the top bar here, this is a favicon. Because we're using ZAMP, it's use it's using the ZAMP icon. So if we click on this and we select the favicon that I've uploaded and we say select, this will automatically bring our favicon there, as you can see. So we'll go back one more step, publish. Now we'll go to the footer and uh, the header and the footer. In the header and the footer is giving us the logo height as 80 and it's telling us as a default from the theme that is a horizontal um, right and it's a transparent dark. That's completely fine, I'm happy with that. I will also take the menu, the menu to be as a boxed, which means that it's not, from, it's not starting from one corner to another, but it's starting from the middle. So starting, for example, from here to there. So, and then I will also say, I want you to make the menu to be sticky bar. So that means when you scroll up, it shows, the menu still shows. And basically, I will leave the. I don't want to hide the menu when it's loading, so I'll leave that alone. And then in here, I will have put a copyright. You can go and get any copyright and co and put it here. Then basically, we have to design a footer for the site. And to do this, I, we will get to that stage. But what I will do for now, and if you just follow me as I'm doing it, just create a slog. Basically, a slog is a, a direct a URL that comes after your main site URL. So if you have, if your site is a um, squadron.com and basically on your site, you have a page called about us, your slog is slash about us. So this will be the same. So it will be slash footer. So we'll leave the footer name here, go back and then we'll go to typography. In the typography, we will leave everything the way it is because the theme has given it to us. So we will ch we can change it as we design the site. The blog, 
is basically telling us how it's going to be greeted. So it's going to be in grid form and it's going to be in three, you know, and it's going to show the name, the date. So you can think whatever you want to, to you want it to show. But I've ticked right now the post, the shared Facebook, the shared Twitter, the shared on LinkedIn. Again, I have created, well, not created yet. I have written down the slog for here as well which we will then create this page when the time comes. I'll go back again. I'll create publish, remember? And then I will say, I'll come to portfolio. Portfolio, the same thing as follows, the grid and the gaps. And then you go the single page view, the, the, the styles, and then you select if you want to have the functionality to share these. You said, I want to share it to Facebook, I want to share it to Twitter, and I want to share it to LinkedIn. I'll put LinkedIn, which means then it asks you, do you want to have a slog for this sentence? And yes, I will just put a slog in, and that's it. One slog, and ignore the rest. Okay, and I'll save that as well, and then I'll come back here. Ignore the shop, because we are actually not going to work on the shop on this, on this time. So we'll then go on the menu. At the moment, we haven't got page or anything, so we will just ignore the menu for now. We'll go to the widget, same thing. We haven't created the footer to be able to integrate the widget yet, so we will leave the widget alone. And the settings, the home settings, home page settings. We haven't got a home page yet, but obviously when you start it, it will, it's supposed to say your latest post because it doesn't know if you have a page yet or not. So it's going to automatically select the post as the home page. So you can change this by selecting a static page. However, what this means is this is actually not going to show any page. It's still going to be the way it is. So you have to physically you have to physically create the page and then come here and then select that home page. For now, we won't worry about it again. We'll just publish. Our customized section is completed. Now, what we can do is start creating our first home page.